In this video, I'll be talking about um, locus of control, internal control, and external control. So what does locus mean? That seems kind of like a strange word, right? So locus means place. So where do you place your control? And there's two types of um, kind of places that you'll, that you'll put control. It's either internal, which means that I have control over my situation, or external, that there are other circumstances in the environment that are um, having an influence or controlling what's happening to me. And so what we know about people who have a lot of success and are able to set goals and achieve goals is that they have a very strong internal locus of control, which means that they see themselves as kind of the driver um, and the person who controls their circumstances. So let's take a little bit closer look at that. So with external locus of control, and you can see my notes down here, something else controls your, dest your destiny. The outcome is kind of beyond your own control. Meaning, you know, I was late for class because, you know, that person in front of me was going too slowly. Um, I didn't do well on the test because that teacher is just way too hard. You know, those are the things that are outside of your control that you feel like kind of victimized you. And, and so that's what it does. It produces kind of this victim mindset that the things that happen in your life are based on something else. And so you blame, you complain, you excuse, you repeat your you end up repeating your behaviors because you're like, well, it's not really my fault. You know, it was all these other circumstances that were happening to me. And that's why, you know, um, I failed my class or I failed my test or my bill was late or I was, um, you know, late to hear or didn't get the job that I wanted because all of these things are outside of my control. And what we want you to get to is not this idea of, you know, you playing the victim, but to kind of take back the circumstance and say, how do I create circumstances for myself? And this ties directly into, you know, motivation and Carol Dweck's growth versus fixed mindset. Um, that if you feel like learning, achievement, um, success is within your control, that makes the output actually a lot better you know, versus trying to constantly combat these other things that you feel like are invading your space. So what, again, what we want to get you to is an internal locus of control. You control your own destiny. Um, the outcomes depend on your behaviors. So what does that look like? Well, that's the creator mindset. You seek solutions. You take action. So let's say, instead of saying, I failed a test because, boy, that teacher is really hard or didn't do a good job, I can say, well, I failed the test because I didn't study. You know, I didn't take the notes. I didn't go to class. That even though you may not have had the success by taking ownership over your part in it, the next time that comes out, you can say, okay, I know what I can do better. I can study a little bit more. I can make sure I go to class. I can take notes over the chapter. Those things are within your control. Um, and when we feel like we have more control, we can create this better mindset. And that usually leads to better outcomes. So it really comes down to a choice. I mean, that's everything in life, right? We can choose to be victimized. We can choose to take control. We can choose to watch Netflix for an hour. We can choose to go study for an hour. We can you know, choose the path that we're on and we can make choices all the time, but we have to take ownership over those choices. Um, and that's really a key component in growth mindset. That's a really a key component in motivation. That's really a key con concept in internal locus of control or intrinsic motivation is that you have a choice to kind of take control of your environment and make different choices that you can set aside time every day to study. You can set aside time every day to read some through the resources. Um, you can get up a few minutes early, you can exercise, you can eat healthy, you can make all these great choices that will directly benefit you and your outcomes. So here are some examples of some of that victim versus creator mindset. So again, going back to the test, the victim mindset would say, man, these tests are dumb. You know, the professor gave me an F on the very first one and these, cause it's crazy. Instead say, I got an F on the first test because I didn't read the assignments. Um, so from now on, I'm going to take detailed notes. So it's not just recognizing your part about how you contributed to the outcome, but what you can do differently. Um, next one, the instructor is so boring. It puts me to sleep. Or, you know, I find it really hard to pay attention in class. So maybe I could do something that will help me take focus. You know, I'll take the notes. Maybe I'll bring a little caffeine. Maybe I'll stand up and stretch, but I'll do things to make things different. Here's some others. 
man, I can't believe, why do I take this course? It, it's a dumb requirement. Instead say, you know, I can always get something from, from something. So I have to take this course. I really don't understand why, but I'm sure I can find out how it'll benefit me in the future. And I'm going to take whatever I can from it. Um, or how about this one? Since we're going to have some class discussions, posting comments on our class discussion board is impossible. I'll never understand it. Or why do I have to do it? Um, maybe instead say, okay, I need to print off those directions and read them a little more carefully, underline the key parts and follow them step by step. And then lastly, um, whoops, that was on a group assignment, not for um, people who are online. Um, so really, again, so the kind of the whole key concept of this is in order to be successful in school or to be successful in jobs and just kind of successful in life in general, we have to take ownership over our own actions and see how our own actions contribute to our circumstances and then start problem solving and finding solutions that we can change within our own context, within our own life to make our own scenarios better rather than allowing our environments to take control. So hopefully this helps kind of tie in all these concepts that you'll be looking at um, in this module.